This is Holy Boly. I'm Clara Hermit. This is Stevie Ritchie. Stevie, how are you? Hello. Yeah, very well. Yeah, nice to meet you all. Yeah, great. It's a bit funny, isn't it? Because I'm standing up, you're sitting down. I, mean, I should stand up. Stand up, stand up because... Stand up. I feel a bit of orcs here, actually. I've, so. got, I've got some good news for you. Well, I think it's going to be good news. All right, OK, what's that? Um, we at Holy Moly do an interview that is called Taken From Behind. So today, Stevie Ritchie, I'm going to be taking you from behind. Is that OK? I would love that. OK, for the duration of this interview, my hand's going to be on your hips. All right? We're going to okay. start with a bit of a warm-up. Okay. So we're going we're to do a circling of the hips. Okay. You know, the, like, you're a good dancer. Like you know, that. loosen up the hips, that's right. OK. Yeah. <laughs> I'm liking this already. That's just a good interview, isn't it? Yeah. And then back the other way. OK. Oh, it's all right. You've got to have a bit of a stretch, you know what it's yeah. like, before you get, you know, yeah. do your moves. Yeah, oh, yeah, especially yeah, in the bedroom, it. yep. Um, Stevie, at Holy Moly, we have some of the best journalists... OK. In Shepherd's Bush. Wow. Um, and they managed to dig up your Casting Call Pro profile. Oh, yeah. Right? So we found out some facts on okay. that, that profile. And we just want to play a game of true or false. Go on, then. So I'm going to say it, and you're going to tell me it's true or false. In 2003, sure. did you play Martin Luther King? Do you know what? It was for, right, I'll be honest with you, it was for my um, my London School Musical Theatre production play where uh, I basically pulled on, like, a, uh, an act, basically, on Martin Luther King where I sung a song. It was like an act, uh, I think it was called uh, What's New Pussycat or something like that. So it was... You it sang was, What's New Pussycat as Martin Luther King? Uh, one of the songs, yeah, I think it was. I know, it was, it was so surreal, but it was. It was, uh, it was a production, I didn't get paid for it. It was my... Um, my Pretty much my uh, London School Musical Theatre College performance. Performance, the bit you so, did at the end. But mm. just you know, I'm not I'm not being funny or anything. But yeah. Martin Luther King's black. I know. Have you had a stand innovation from five hundred thousand people? Well, I'll be honest with you, five hundred thousand is a bit too much. I, I would say about five thousand people. Yeah, because so I think I'd done um, uh, my kind of people at the Lakeside Furrock Shopping Centre when uh, Michael Barrymore was then about and I sung uh, Elvis Presley The Wonder You so it was 5,000 not 500,000 oh, so it was just a few oh, noughts added we all do yeah. that though don't yeah, we a little we bit of exaggeration just spice it up you know what I mean why not be done. did you get through on American Idol have we d I done the American Idol experience in Florida the Universal Studios you know yeah and um, basically it's pretty much surreal the same thing you know you audition after audition and then you go through you pick your song and I got through to the final and I beat other Americans so it was really nice I think one American was really annoyed with me actually but not in a bad way they just what um, did they say uh, oh gosh they couldn't believe it basically they didn't say it to my face but I think they were genuinely gutted to see it in his face he was gutted that I, I beat him and uh, I'd done it you know it weren't the American Idol uh, you know the real one it was the experience Experience, you know, where holiday punters can do it, basically. But you got through to the final, I and that's what I got through to the final, and yeah, got the certificate to prove it. We've got to talk a little bit about Chloe Jasmine. Okay. Did you get to sixth base with her? Do you know what? I don't, I would still say this now, right? I ain't got a clue what sixth base is. Well, right? we, we haven't. We were going to ask you. We thought you knew. I don't know either. What it is, I'll be honest with you now, right, viewers and yourself. Six base, what is that? I only know three bases. We thought, we thought you know, it might be anal. Well, six bases anal. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what. Uh, well, I've finally had anal once, but hey, not uh, not mine, not mine, not mine. I've done it to a woman. That was my ex girlfriend. But anyway, anyway, six bases. I don't know what that is. I only know three bases, and one of them's cold when you got half an inch. So anyway, let me just put it out there. <laughs> <laughs> not literally. Um, my <laughs> my Simon. I know you're laughing now, aren't you? See, I always make people laugh when it comes to this. Oh, I think so, I love you. So I love you too. I'll date you later. Uh, that will be in the papers tomorrow anyway Simon said to me on scale one to ten what where how far did you get with Chloe and I went six out of ten well, what's that well well six out of ten is like a kiss and a cuddle and a hold and a you know and just a nice little sort of like just like that you know what I mean yeah so I, yeah that's what it is basically so that's what I got so my my microphone was still on when I was rehearsing uh, and silly me they all heard it yeah and that's what happened so she said you had a spiritual snog was it spiritual <laughs> Did she say that? Yeah, that's what that's what okay. the papers said. That she said it was a spiritual snob. I suppose it was. It was really... It was a connection between me and Chloe. And uh, you know what? She's a lovely girl, very attractive and, and skits Are you going to well. see her now, again? I'm going to see her soon for a coffee, you know. Uh, seventh base. 
<laughs> Eight, Who knows? Ten. Nine. Ten. It could be ten for this time all the way. Uh, no, do you know what? Is who knows? The inch, oh, half an inch. Well, it'd probably be half an inch for me actually, but every inch helps, hey. Especially if you shave. Got another quick question. There was okay. a picture taken of you with the Sun newspaper, and you were smiling. And you were pointing at the Yorkshire Ripper. Do you know what? Right, I was stitched up that day. Right, I'll tell you why. I um basically I went so I went and got some papers. Right. And then they said to me, oh, can you just point at the Sun newspaper and pay, point at the, uh, the Daily Mirror? So I went, me being stupid. You didn't look at the front page. I didn't look did at you? the front page. I just went like that. So I got proper stitched up. And whoever that is, I believe you me, karma will come your way. I want from you, because you are a bit of a, 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 a lover. Lover, 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 mmm. Mr. Lover, lover, a lover, lover. Mr. hey girl. Mr. Fantastic. That's me on the bus. It says I'm Mr. Roman. Top three dating tips. Top three dating tips, okay, obviously, number one, be yourself, always be yourself, because otherwise women see through that. Yeah. Uh, number two, listen, very important. Women love a good listener, you yeah. know, very important. Number three, always look in the eye, never look at chest, never look at ass. just always look in the eye, and just really listen and talk, because after all, if you've got that connection when you talk, then you're laughing. Don't and look at their tits. No, don't look at their tits. We're gonna finish this interview with a hug. Thank you. Oh, no, this, oh way. this way. From behind. Sorry, babe. Oh, I like that. Oh, you got a strong hug. Thanks. That's really nice. Oh, I like that. She gives good hugs. Very nice. I'm trying to lot things make things grow down below, if you know what I mean, actually. It's really nice. Okay. I only had anal once.